we are looking at a plot sheet here with two sets of confusing lines. The green intersection is the start of the design and the red the end of the design. Normally these would be on top of each other. Right click on the auto start end icon found in the view toolbar to show the properties and select maintain automatically. In this case it looks as if an object has been added to the design after it has been centered. By selecting Maintain Automatically, a new center is calculated each time an object is added to the design. Using the Travel Toolbar, I will travel to the beginning and the end. And you can see the start and finish points coincide. You can choose any of the nine points to create the start and finish points. For cap designs, I like to start at the bottom, which means I can place the pantograph as close to the peak as practical, knowing all of the design will be above that point. Another great feature is to digitize the start and end point at a particular location on a garment. In this case, the lettering needs to be exactly 27 millimeters above the pocket. First, I will hold the left mouse button down in the corner of the rulers and drag to a point in line with the top of the pocket and directly above the button. So you can see the 0, 0 line is now established at that point. Now left click in the vertical ruler to create a guideline and double left click in the yellow head to place the guideline at 27 millimeters above the horizontal 0 line. Now create the lettering and click on the 27mm line at the vertical zero line. To establish the start and end point, right click on the icon and choose Digitize Auto Start End. OK, now click along the top of the pocket directly above the button. This eliminates the need to mark a line on your garment and as long as each item is hooped correctly, all names will be in exactly the same position. And finally, once you've established the most common start and end point locations, save the setting to your template. If you wish to save to the current template, Use the Save button at the bottom of the dialog box. If you would like to save to another template, make sure the icon is active and choose Save as Template from the File menu and make your selection. Now, any new design based on that template will automatically maintain the start and end points of your choice.